Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your seatbelts on for this one here, or you can watch this video without wearing a seatbelt and enjoy the turbulence that way because it's about to hit you real, real hard. First, we had the Drake situation, the Diddy situation, then we had Dr. Disrespect, and now we got the Chris Tyson situation. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders because you see uh, we have Chris Tyson works with works for Mr. Beast He used to be a brother now. He's a sister and now there has been evidence provided that all the way back in 2017 He has been going after the miners oh, shit. Right, uh, we're talking about Chris Tyson here and people are calling him Dr. Chris respect as well Which is just absolutely insanity and a year ago, you know, Sunny V2 made a video on the situation, right? Which was very very controversial but right now, Sakazar so are saying, I guess he was right. Yeah, check this out, roll it. So recently, Mr. Beast became the most subscribed to person on the entire platform. Year after year, he has consistently dropped some of the biggest videos on YouTube, and he's the type of guy that really prides himself on avoiding any sort of controversy around his name. And in general, it seems like he really just wants to have fun while helping people out and making yeah. these different big ideas of his come to life. Uh, and some people are really, really accusing Mr. Beast of doing the same PDF file stuff that apparently Chris Tyson has been caught doing. This is here, here's where I'm at. Okay, this is where I'm at. Like, if there's no evidence about Mr. Beast, then he's clean though. Because right now, what we're seeing is that guilt by association. Same thing happened with Nick Marks and Tim the Tatman recently because they're friends with Doctor Disrespect. So we've all seen the cancellation of Doctor Disrespect. Some people are, hey, we need more proof. Some are like, hey, uh, he admitted to it in his statement. So uh, we're not talking about that. Okay, we're not talking about it. But the simple fact here is that people have been going, especially the likes of Chris Tyson went crazy at Nick Merckx, right? And uh, not necessarily Tim the Tatman, but generally speaking, the Wokies were like, hey, Tim the Tatman, you're friends with, with Dr. Disrespect, right? You're friends, uh, Nick Merckx, you're friends with Dr. Disrespect. D that means that you guys also are PDF file and all that, which is insane, though. It's so like, uh, what, what I'm saying is that you can you cannot blame somebody somebody for someone else's action, right? Like, blaming a man for someone's el someone else's action that's just ludicrous to me right so same is right now happening with mr beast but not to the same degree of course uh i, I i'm not gonna blame mr beast on this one but uh of course it looks like that he knew so that's where you know it's uh there's a little bit of that controversy but we need more proof on that but we got evidence on chris tyson so for chris tyson it is clear he is into some real nasty stuff, man. Life. But one controversial topic around him and his brand has been one of his best friends, Chris. Chris has been with Jimmy since the start of his days on YouTube and is actually one of his childhood friends. And over time, the audience came to know and love Chris like they do many of the other recurring people on the channel. Well, you might remember last year we talked about Chris in a highly controversial video posted by Sunny V2. And the main topic being discussed in this video was Chris becoming, well, Chris with a K and transitioning from a man to a woman. Needless to say, the reception for this this video was really all over the place. Over the years, people had come to Damn. know Chris as a married Christian family man, so many fans and critics alike did find his transition to be a little bit jarring, including Nick yeah. Marks, who has been very vocal about his opinions. Now, Miss, yeah, that that has been crazy, right? And, and yeah, Chris Tyson also went crazy at Nick Marks as well because uh, Nick said that leave the kids alone. Simple as that. I don't think that was controversial at all. Chris Tyson surely had a problem, and now we understand why. Now we know why he had a problem because he was after the kids, right? Tend so to be a little bit jarring including uh, you should be ashamed of, and, and then nick marks responded by saying you should be ashamed of yourself leaving be leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend one day you'll wake up and realize what you've done it, yeah it, it's sad for the wife though right but uh, to be honest though like the wife could have technically got like a sister as a friend you know, feel what i'm saying like yeah <laughs> but, but jokes aside though like damn man that's that's crazy though so the kid is definitely gonna yeah, like don't don't do a face reveal of your kid, man. The kid's probably gonna get bullied in school, man. That's and he don't deserve it, bro. Nick Merckx, who has been very vocal about his opinions. Now, Mr. Beast has made it beyond clear that Chris is his day one best friend and he will always support him, even expressing displeasure towards people who had bad things to say about Chris and claiming that he is an amazing parent. Even till this day, it's like constantly a huge topic of discussion online because not only is it such a hot topic in general, but he's also involved with the biggest YouTuber in the world. Yeah. And now Chris is once again being discussed and it seems like their past is coming back to haunt them in the form of some strange tweets. Above that, there's also some more recent allegations that point towards Chris having a doctor disrespect type of- Time out! Time out, bro! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! 
Tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, tranquilo. Relationship with a fan. First, let's talk about this video that recently came out and now went viral that shows old tweets from Chris back Holy. in the 2017 to 2018 range. This video immediately connects Chris with a person named Shadman, who is known for his explicit drawings online, and he apparently got famous for depicting all kinds of disgusting things in these drawings, including underage individuals in these illustrations doing vile things. Like anyone who thinks this stuff is okay needs to be thrown under the jail with the likes of EDP. Basically, weirdos use this art angle as a bypass hmm. to enjoy though the legality of yeah. it does still seem kind of the, the the cp with the yeah cannot say these words uh, right like they have been uh doing arts of the miners like that yeah just what what the yeah vague to me well basically back in the day chris posted a ton about shad man and even had his artwork up at his house in the background of an old mr beast video yeah this is where it was at and uh it looks like that the reason people are going a little bit at mr beast which i understand is because mr beast knew apparently right yeah that that's what we're finding out that's what we're finding out but i still it, it's hard though it's hard i i wouldn't blame uh what's this called i wouldn't call mr beast a pdf file though that's insane though that's ludicrous though right because uh i cannot blame mr beast for chris's action you feel what i'm saying just gotta be uh, just gotta be honest or just gotta be fair here but you can blame him for not doing anything while knowing this was going down i i guess that that's the part i can stand on and a lot of people are also like uh saying that l friend w friend and all that right i would say l friend because he could have stopped chris from this first of all like the cp stuff right and secondly like from him transitioning into like a sister knowing fully well that he had a wife and a kid right he could have stopped him like that that's what good friends do right i, I would say w friend in in a way too because like he stuck with him regardless of uh what he did which uh, I, I don't agree with many people don't agree with but it's not even about that right so if you're doing something behind closed doors, uh, I'm, I'm saying that for Chris Tyson, right? Like if you want to be a sister, uh, you're consent, uh, you're adult, you want to change that. Yeah, go for it, right? Like, uh, yeah, who am I, right? Like, I don't care about it. You can do that, but uh, you can do that behind closed doors. You can live your life happily. You can uh, do whatever kinks you are into, but with consenting adults though, like stop involving children. That's basically where I'm at, right? That's basically what a lot of people uh, are saying right now. That's basically where it ends though. Do what you want to do, but just don't push that on the kids. Don't shove that down our throats. Simple as that. You can you can become a helicopter. He used to make jokes on the the trans community back in the days, and, and then became uh, then became a transformer himself afterwards. That's perfectly fine. You want to do that? Yeah, go for it. But like, stop pushing that down other people's throat and stop like doing all that crap, man. And uh, uh, Sunny V2 essentially made a video on this one and basically said that this uh, Chris Tyson could be a not could be a nightmare, complete disaster for Mr. Beast. And I I, I mean, he was right. He was right. He was right. He also posted several tweets about enjoying this type of artwork in general, and other suggestive posts about various cartoon characters. And even though most of these posts are like 7 years old at this point, at the time he was still a 21 year old man, and this isn't just like some racist stuff or something that there could be like more grey area on. Or you could say, oh, that was just like part of the times back then. This is some weird shit. 2017 was dark times, brothers. That was dark times, man. So he was 21 uh, hitting on like 10 years old and 14-year-olds uh, in terms of like the, the art, CP art and whatnot. He was into that stuff, right? It, that he was interested in to a massive extent. Like a grown man hanging a picture on their wall of this nasty stuff takes quite a bit of premeditated thought. So obviously people already thought that that was very strange of him, but it's really nothing compared to this more damning allegation where people are claiming to have exposed Chris for having an inappropriate relationship with a 13-year-old fan when he was 20 years old, and that this online communication continued for several years. Shout out to this man Prism who is the first one to bring this to light. So there's this kid who goes by the nickname Lava GS Online, and it seems like he was a massive Mr. Beast fan back in the day, and even got to work for Jimmy at some point in the past helping with his gaming channel. It seemed like over the years they developed several channels of communication from Snapchat to Twitter messages, Discord DMs, and private gaming sessions which let me just pause the video right there and say that i already have a problem with that unless 
someone is like your cousin or related to you in some way, there is absolutely no reason that a 20 year old needs to be having all these different private conversations with someone who's in middle school. Like a 20 year old yeah. should be out there enjoying their life, trying to do new things with people their age. And obviously, pretty much anyone with a platform online is going to have some fans who are kids. And so it's obviously the adult's responsibility to not be in like constant communication with them. It's really not that hard. Either way, mm. he felt so comfortable with Chris to the point that he was asking him about his addiction to adult cartoons. And they were having a lot of inappropriate banter publicly on Twitter when Lava was only 14. Guys, we are so close to our goal. Oh my god, one more Patreon and I'm releasing my nudes. And this is the part I have a problem with. This isn't a group chat. This is literally just him and this other guy that he's been talking to and that he's friends with online. Lava says, I'm your first Patreon, big boy. And uh, he shows that he donated some money. He donated like a dollar or something. So it's okay. not enough to meet the goal. And he says, but not $5. Pathetic. Just kidding. Kissy face. I'll tell you what it means. It means that you're telling him that he needs to donate $5 so you can release your or whatever. He says, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in. Winky face. And of course, it continues. He says, check again. And he, he tags you, I think. At least that must be you. Or he's tagging you. And of course, he says, I posted some fire news for you. Please no share. And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14. And at the end of the day, you cannot be talking about topics like this with someone that is this young. So at the very least, these two had a close enough relationship where Chris felt comfortable making these adult jokes towards him. And at the very worst, he's literally flirting with a 14 year old on the timeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, like he added a joke button there, man. That is crazy, bro. 2017, 2018s dark times i'm convinced man i don't need to see more but bro. by the time lava would turn 16 he would apparently even meet up with chris at some point <sighs> and he even talked about this extensively on like a mr beast discord server now i do want to make it clear that this guy prism who made this video spoke privately with this lava guy and prism claims that lava's statement is that nothing bad ever happened when they met up back in the day and okay. that basically their relationship never really got inappropriate. And as I'm editing this video, guys, Lava actually took to Twitter to make his own statement about the situation, where he says, These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do okay. me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? The situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I'm not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. And keep okay. in mind, that's after okay. this morning, he removed all affiliation with Mr. Beast from his Twitter page. Damn. And now we have yet another update where Keemstar has jumped into the picture. He says that Mr. Beast connected him with this guy Lava directly, and that Lava is denying all of these allegations. And now claiming that him and Chris did not have any sort of private interactions, and that when he went to meet up with Chris, that apparently his entire family and the Mr. Beast crew were present. I ran Discord with Chris Tyson when I was 13, edgy and appropriate jokes were said. That's it. So take with that what you will. <laughs> and you guys already know, if there was gonna be one person to defend Chris in this entire situation, it was going to be that fool Ethan is online, who last time we caught up with him was pretty much defending the sick people that they catch on Predator Poachers. So here he was trying to watch the video on stream, where Chris got exposed for liking that very strange artwork. God, I hate how this is formatted like a commentary video and it feels like it was edited by AI. Um, it also sounds like it was written by an AI. So the synopsis is Ava used to like stops giving. No, because the synopsis of the video is Ava used to like Shadman in 20. Uh, uh, okay, Ava is Chris's new name, by the way. Okay. All right. Uh, he uh, changed. Uh, he switched sides like he was in the Call of Duty lobby. So we get it. We get it. 17. Don't watch that fucking dog. No, because the synopsis of the video is Ava used to like Shadman in 2017. Don't watch that fucking dog shit video. So bad. Such an awful and terribly formatted video. Literally the worst fucking YouTube video I've seen in a long time. So from the start, you can tell that this guy, Ethan, feels some sort of personal connection to the call out in that video. Just like the sheer amount of anger you can see pulsing through his very tired face. To me, kind of tells the whole story of what his opinion is about to be. Yes, that video that he was watching, it wasn't like the best made video I've ever seen, but it's something that I would expect from kind of like a novice commentary channel. And I do think it was very important for kind of kicking off this expose. But let's yeah, hear what Ethan thinks. That, that video almost almost went 1 million that video went nuclear level and it's been like what six days only and the story is getting picked up here's the thing though all right like listen I i'm not all up for cancellation i'm not about cancellations but there are certain crimes for which cancellation is needed we all saw what happened to dr disrespect man man got annihilated whether you're a fan or a hater of his like i'm not even talking about him i'm not even talking any of that right but the fact here is this right he got banned on twitch okay his own gaming company dropped him right he got fired from his own company 
demonetized on YouTube as well, right? NBA dropped him, NFL dropped him. He was, uh, I believe, in the same Hollywood team, uh, a talent agency as uh, Robert Downey Jr. I made a video on it. I will link you that uh, uh, by the end of it. So, yeah, that was shocking to me when I discovered that he was in the uh, actual talent agency as Robert ba uh, Downey Jr. Not blaming Robert. This is not like Robert Downey Jr. bad. He's a very good actor, okay? It's just that they, they found out that he was in the same talent agency. The point of that... Uh, was and the point that I'm trying to make is that he actually is so big though he was so big he was on top of the game he was at the you feel what I'm saying right like many can just dream of being on that level and he lost it all though we saw that cancellation that was a nuclear level cancellation imagine you you uh, are in the same talent agency as Robert Downey Jr right NFL is representing you you got tons of sponsors. Cake was looking to throw $15 million on you and Dr. Decline, uh, Dr. Disrespect Decline. And now they say that, hey, well, we don't wanna, uh, we, we're, we're just gonna wait a little bit. I believe that's what Cake said. We're just gonna wait a little bit. We're not gonna jump the gun. And we're also not gonna hit him up with like, uh, you know, $50 million or anything like that. So you see what I mean, right? He got canceled into oblivion. What happens with Chris Tyson? So far, nothing though. You know, so that's like real hypocrisy. That's real hypocrisy, though. Y y yeah, I want to know your thoughts on that for sure. Literally just to be like, Mr. Beast's friend seven years ago had some uh, inappropriate tweets that were a really bad look. You're avoiding the video? That's the whole point. What am I avoiding? The truth that it doesn't matter that it happened seven years ago. This guy was into some absolutely diabolical shit. Didn't like most of the internet at the time with Shadman? Yes. For some reason, yes. So his excuse for this disgusting behavior is that apparently most of the internet they were f***ing with this nasty loser who was making these disgusting drawings. I mean, first of all, that just has to be a blatant lie. And to me, the shit he was into is just like inexcusable. I don't give a f when it happens. He was already an adult man. I don't need to see the whole thing. It's bad. 20 or 21 year old loving the 10 year old CP, actual CP material and 14 year old. Ten, uh, apparently there was one 10 year old and one 14 year old. Uh, CP material like that that was discovered right in terms of an art that, That's insane bro. That's insane. Bad. It's a bad video And I think that he's claiming it's a bad video because politically it doesn't align perfectly with him I'm sorry. It was seven years ago You know how many times this guy Ethan has likely judged people for things that they did more than a decade ago Just because they do not align with him politically like that seems to be his whole shtick is that if you're a conservative because he's very obviously a big-time liberal well, it's just you. He's never going to give you the benefit of the doubt. He's going to take your words and misconstrue them. But oh, when it's someone who's on his side of history, well, he's going to ride with them to the very end. I don't yeah. want to see it. Because if we're going to play this argument, then that means that Dr. Disrespect is innocent. That Then we can say that too, right? You know what I mean? It's irrelevant. That doesn't make it okay. It's not relevant though. Is that a gross thing to do? Is it unacceptable? Yeah. But like the anti-cancel culture warriors all of a sudden are like, wait, liking tweets from seven years ago. Why are we even talking about Mr. Beast's friend? Because she's Mr. Beast's friend. Yeah, and Mr. Beast has the biggest platform literally in the entire world. Since this time, uh, Chris transitioned and is now Ava. And that's fine, but it doesn't just absolve you of all the nasty shit you were doing before you transitioned. <laughs> to give you an idea of how- f it, It's like, you can do, do all the bad stuff, it's just like- So you're saying that all of this can be wiped away if you just switch sides? And you switch a switch a lobby. It's 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 not like switching sides in Call of Duty, bro. Where all of your KD ratio kill that's uh for that said match just wipes away. It does not work like that, brother. King long ago this was. Stop being defensive. You follow Chris on Twitter, dude. This was a completely different time. I was in high school when this happened. I had no idea who Mr. Beast was, and neither did Mr. Beast. He wasn't even around. What are you saying? I think that the point they're trying to make is that every single time this type of topic comes up, whether it's someone actually like trying to talk to someone who's underage or just having this type of peculiar behavior, you always seem to be on the side where you are literally rushing to defend the person who's just being absolutely disgusting. Are you trying to yeah. cancel Mr. Beast too? Because he had that in his living room? It was in Mr. Beast's living room. Should he be canceled too? You can't ever defend Mr. Beast ever again. Don't ever defend him or watch him. I cannot blame Mr. Beast. I cannot blame him and call him like a PDF file just because of Chris's action. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Beast doesn't have a bunch of old tweets linking him to this freak and suggesting that he was a massive fan of him. I guarantee you that if Jimmy was doing that shit back in the day, it would have been brought to light long ago and his feet would have been held to the same fire. It shows yeah. a bias towards what? Yeah. 
towards Greaves. S simply, simply put, like, just like how you cannot blame Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman or any other person that was linked with uh, Dr. Disrespect, you cannot blame Mr. Beast for being a friend with, uh, with Eva, Chris Tyson, whatever his new name is. Eva, I believe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unless, unless there is actual real material evidence, you know what, I, if there's real evidence that Mr. Beast is all, was also doing the same crap as Eva Chris Tyson, then understandable, then yeah, yeah, you can cancel the guy and all that, right, but till then, you, you cannot do that, bro, you cannot do that. Do you want to keep acting like Mr. Beast should be canceled forever or something? No one one time said Mr. Beast should be canceled. You're the yeah. only one bringing him up at this point. Yeah. I mean, everyone really just wants Chris to come out and explain why he was into that weird shit. Uh, you should be not be apologetic. I'm not apologetic. And now you're literally misgendering Chris. He's probably more upset about that than he is about the core matter here that Chris was on some weird shit. I mean, this guy's brain is so dense. It just honestly starts to make me a little bit upset. Like, how can someone be so confident in this way of thinking and just be so wrong? You're spelling it the way she changed it to, but you're misgendering her. So I think that shows that you have a pretty severe bias, actually. You actually have a bias that leads you outside of reality and away from logic and truth. Dude, it has to be one of the most ironic statements I've ever heard in my entire life. Why are you being defensive? Well, you're just changing the complete conversation because you don't have anything to say. Yeah, it's gotta be the most ironic video of all time. <laughs> um, listen, Ethan. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently what happened with Dr. Disrespect, that story came out as well. We got a new update on it. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.